What's up guys, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go. In the past weekend, I was playing around with the Canon C200 and I just put up some sample footage on Sunday. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, definitely go and check it out. There's downloads of all the files too if you guys wanna play around with it. But since I've been playing around with it and dealing with the files and figuring all that out, I thought I'd do a video on my workflow to deal with the .CRM files, which is Canon's raw light. Currently, there are two methods of ingesting this footage. The first one is Canon's own software, which is their Cinema Raw development. And then the second option is DaVinci Resolve 14. 12 doesn't support it and Premiere Pro isn't up to date yet, but hopefully it will be soon. So first let's start with Canon software, the Cinema Raw development. So once you open up the Cinema Raw development tool, you're gonna have these four windows. You have a Cinema Raw development, preview window, media pool slash EDL, and then an export window. What you wanna do first is navigate to your footage. So I have a Canon card here, CRM, real one, that'll load up. And there you go. So now you can see all the clips that I have. Now you're gonna wanna go through and make your selects first. So choose the file that you want and then add to media pool. So I'm just gonna pick a couple of these and let's grab that one. Once you have your selects, you're gonna go down into the media pool and then you can go through and start editing them. On the editing side, which is in the preview window here, you can do your white balance and you can either choose shooting setting, click to white balance, so if you have a white card or color temperature. So shooting setting will obviously just be what you shot at. Click to white balance will let you click on a target to choose as your white and then color temperature will allow you to use this slider to adjust your color temperature. Now you can go anywhere from 2000 up to 15,000, but I shot this at daylight, so maybe we'll just warm it up a tiny bit. I shot at 5600, so we'll do it at 6000. Next tab is your brightness. So this is where you can shift to make it darker or brighter. It should be adjusting the brightness without degrading the footage at all. We'll just leave that at about 1.3 and that works. Next is your white balance shift. So this is gonna be adding green or magenta if you're shooting in fluorescence. I wasn't, so I'm just gonna reset that and leave it at zero. And then the last one is sharpness. If you wanna add a little bit of sharpness, you can bump this up but I prefer to just leave it alone, and if I need to add that, I'll add it later. The last two settings is your color space, which you can choose BT2020, DCI-P3, BT709, or Cinema Gamut. This is gonna be the flattest profile, so I'm just gonna leave it in that. And then you can choose your gamma. So you can choose log two, log three, YDR, DCI, BT709. I'm just gonna leave it in log three, and I'll do my grading in a different software. After you have all of these set for that first clip, you're gonna go down here and you're gonna hit add to export queue. That'll add it over here. And then we can go on to the next clip and do the same thing. It's gonna keep those same settings. So if we wanted to use those, we could just hit add to export or we can go in and tweak it per clip. You just wanna make sure that you're always adding it to the export queue after you tweak each clip because it'll do this to all of the files following it. If you wanna do batches, you can just do one, tweak it, highlight them all and hit add to export queue and it'll add all of them as a batch. I'll just tweak these really quick here and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so once you've gone through all three of your clips, you're gonna go over into this export tab. Now you can go over into settings here and this is where you're gonna update a lot of your settings where you want it to export to. I'm just gonna put it back onto the card in a different folder. So you can see a Canon file, there's my CRMs. I'm just gonna put them next to that. Then you're gonna choose how you want it named. You can do the metadata, same as the raw file, or you can enter your own clip name. Then you can go over to output type and it defaults to this DPX RGB 10 bit. I like to work with ProRes files, so I'm gonna to switch to Apple ProRes 444. You can choose the quality resolution. So if you're gonna export proxies, you can change that in here. And then again, you have one last chance to change your color space and your gamma. I already set those, so I'm just gonna leave them alone. Let's hit okay. And now you'll see all of these are updated to Apple ProRes 444. There's no proxy files going out and then they're going to this file. Now what we can do is just hit export and all three of those clips are gonna be exported. It's gonna take a little bit of time so I will speed this up so you don't have to sit through it. So that was about 3,000 frames in those three separate clips and it took about seven minutes to complete just to give you a good idea of how long this takes. We get this message that says Cinema Raw Development, all exports completed successfully. So let's hit OK. We can go into our hard drive where we dump them. And now each clip is in its own folder in a ProRes QuickTime file. Play each one of those. Plays back smoothly. Checking all of them just to make sure that we get some playback. Good. 
So that's it. Now you have your QuickTime files and you can just drag these into Resolve if you're gonna do grading on them. You can bring them into Premiere or FCPX if that's what you're using as your editor. Now let's jump over to DaVinci Resolve 14 and I'll show you guys that workflow. So here in Resolve, we're gonna do the same thing and navigate to where our files are. We're gonna go into our .crm, real one, and now it'll natively see all of our CRM files. We're gonna do the same thing with our selects. So I'll just grab a couple of these, drag them in. I'll have it change the settings to match our footage. In the edit tab, we can grab our clips and just drop them onto the timeline. Now this will export all of them, the full clips. If you want to, you can go in and shorten them up. So you can just export the part that you want. Once those are in here, we can go into our color tab. You'll do the same thing just like you would if you're grading footage anywhere else. Um, the one downside as of now, Resolve 14 does not support adjustments using the raw file format. So yes, it can read the raw files, the .crm, but it can't actually adjust any of the settings like the color temperature, tint, exposure, sharpness, highlights, all of that stuff. So we'll have to wait for a new update from Resolve to unlock these features for us. Other than that, grading them works fine. You can drop LUTs on them, add new layers, adjust your contrast, your gamma, offset, colors, all of that stuff, make it look as wild as you want. And then the same workflow is just gonna be for delivering. You can come in here, browse where you wanna export them to, to wherever you want. I'm just gonna do it to the Canon hard drive. And then in here again, you can choose ProRes 444. Then you can go into your resolution and change it from 1920 by 1080 to 3840 by 2160. If you are shooting DCI, you're not gonna be able to get that full range. It is gonna compress it down to a UHD 16 by nine format. So you're gonna get this letterboxing on your footage. And then nothing to update in advanced settings. Once you're done with all your output settings, I'm gonna switch it to individual clips and then highlight all of them. And then we can just hit add to render queue. It'll add it over here saying four clips and then we can just start the render. I'm doing individual clips because I'm gonna edit in Premiere and do my final export from there. So I'm just doing my ProRes exports with a little bit of grade on them and then I'll put them into Premiere to finalize the edit. So Resolve just finished up and it took about the same amount of time, just under seven minutes. We can open up our hard drive here. So we have four clips all in our ProRes 444, but these ones are at 3840 by 2160, where the ones coming out of the Cinema Raw development are the full 4096 by 2160. So right now, DaVinci Resolve 14 is a little bit limited in what it can do because you can't change those raw settings. But if you shoot it right in the first place, I prefer to just go through Resolve instead of having to do the Cinema Raw development first, then bring it into Resolve to edit the color, and then bring it into Premiere to do the final edit. I'd rather just bring it in Resolve, color it, export them as individual clips, edit in Premiere, and then export and upload for YouTube. That's gonna be all for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful getting your .crm files into the Cinema Raw development tool or into DaVinci Resolve 14. If you did, hit that like button right down there. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this with sample footage and tests and tutorials and things like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well for new videos every week. And I'll see you guys in the next one.